start off doing a really simple square knot because a lot of people think that um, you have to do something kind of fancy and it's hard to do tie scarves, but it's really not. Um, a simple square knot can allow you to have a lot of different looks. Um, in another video, I showed you how to kind of start your fold and that helps a lot. If your fold is started the right way, everything kind of lays nice. <clears throat> but with a square knot, I mean, all you do, and I know this is very simple and a lot of you know how to do this, but I've been asked it a lot. So um, just take, bring it through. Once you have it on top, that's the one that goes back over the top again, just a knot. And I know that, again, it sounds really simple, but the reason a square knot is kind of special is it allows everything to lay nice. If it was a granny knot, of course, it was going that way. Um, so that's 101 for the ones that don't know how to tie a knot, but that just, you can do a lot with this, just, just to tie like that. Um, you can go tighter, of course. Just moving that knot around gives you a whole new look. So. Um, one of my favorites, if you have kind of a, a neckline that stops at about here, you want it a little shorter, you just wrap around twice. And that allows for, a lot of our scarves have a lot of detail in the centers too. For this one right here, it's called the um, Topsy, and it's got a concho in the center. So that's a nice place to kind of have that lay. And then I would just, you know, go ahead and do my square knot again. And now it's going to fit in your neckline really nice where your, um, where your shirt kind of opens up right there. And then I'll do a lot of just twisting too. So if I have a different neckline, I might just twist it off the side. If you're wearing more of a cami or something like that, you can put it in the back, have more of a turtleneck look too. Anyway, a square knot is a real versatile, easy, easy thing to do. And it kind of gives you a lot of, um, a lot of options.